today we are going to learn the flying birds we learned the sitting style flying one so i'm going to draw two of them if you want to move this one this side or head this way or this one little bit up or low you can do it so i'm going to teach you two ways to draw only thing i change the head Eyes. If you want big eyes, you can draw big eyes, eyebrow, whatever you like, you can add. Kind of like a V, upside down, V upside down, same thing I'm repeating over here. A smiley face. If you want to do tiny curves over here, then do and then erase the first line so always try to draw light okay. now I'm going to draw a guideline half half this side and half this side I'm going to draw another draw and light make sure you are doing light from here U, 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 alphabet, U, long one. Make sure this line is light. U, curve over here and you I'm curving and this is my line so I'm going only on the top of that one and then moving back so I start from here you and then go back so I touch my line over here and then move back now I'm done so I will erase my guideline same thing first a drop I'm not making very skinny one. I'm making kind of like a balloon. Then for tail, upside down V. And do not curve like this. It's upside down V, very simple shape. And then if you want, you can draw a smiley face, very light. And then do it, small V. And then erase the first guideline. If you want a little bit wider one, you can do upside down V, wider style. Then I will do head over here. Same thing half. Now this side and this side, two wings, right? So now from here I'm going to draw a draw. We are not able to see the body because the wings are on the top of it so we will erase this line same thing we will do first let me erase and make it light both sides I'm not starting from here, almost here. This is my line, I'm touching and moving back. Now this bird is looking to this bird. I'm talking to this one. 
so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw one and another one two and I will erase this first line can you see this shape and you can make it this one more straight not curvy if you do that it will look more better if you are not able that's okay you can do it circle that's also fine but I will suggest if you can do it let me do it one more time this line before that we were doing the circle now I am doing a straight and then curve just like a candy cane beak sideways V this time we can see this part and I this one is little bit tilted and the head is also tilted so what we have to do we have to draw this one but tilted okay. so this is straight going up like this but in my paper I moved this one little bit tilted so my guideline is this way now this is the tail these are going to be wings now I have to draw the head for head what I have uh, did over here I didn't go really high and make half circle I tried from here almost you can see it from wings it's hiding here and then circle shape is like this can you see this half big and this one is a small now I will cut a small one over here one and the another one I will start from here and I will not go really wide as much as big, uh, big beak I want I will just go that much and I will erase this part curves over here and this is going to be big the eye will be this way over here this is like a flying style and this moving this way the head is moving this way after that you can draw anything like if you want to do this thing over here and you want to create something more you can look little bit bigger than this one it's look like a flat to me so different sizes this paper towel and these are the colors I use these are very basic colors any brand is fine two of them are green this is orange this is blue and this is yellow so this is the bird all three of them I drew on my watercolor paper make sure your paper is a little bit tinted this is just a simple water I will color with the water I'm not going to pour it like dripping not like this not dripping I will try to color it the way you color 
same thing try to not go on the top of the bird other than you can go everywhere sorry the blue color i think on my tape so it came also that's fine make sure when you are going to put the uh, color the paper has to be wet This is my blue color and I am not going to take the blue color like this. I will take this tiny amount and I will put lots of water here to make it very light blue. And then I will, because this part I am going to do is sky, so I will just try to drop a little bit and it will bleed. So this is what we want. Now I am going to take my medium size brush. And I will just put some drops here. If it's not bleeding, that means your paper is not wet. So this is darker shade I took. Now I took the water and I'm just trying to water next to this one so it will bleed and it will create cloud for me. I'm not coloring this way. No, you just have to put some dots. It They will bleed and they will cover for you. If you want something lighter than this, you can take paper towel and just tap a little bit and you will get more lighter shape. It's not wet it won't bleed see look at over here it's not bleeding because the paper is not wet so you have to make sure your paper is wet I clean my brush I am going to take the lighter shade of the green to put it next to this one so it won't be that dark. This is the branch and you are coloring well so make sure you are not doing really dark shade, very really light shade and very tiny drops. so you can see it's like going here so what I will do I will do the same thing I will take my paper towel and put 
clean it and again I will go back and do some dots. drops just drops so in your drawing if it's really wet make sure it has to dry a little bit and then start doing the branch this is my darker green So now because this brown bleeds over here, so I'm going to create some more branches. My darker green, darker green is I added lots of blue on that one. So I can show you this color. For this dark green, I use this one, but lighter one, I use this color. If you do not want to make it like I made it with the blue and yellow color, you can use the green color I showed you. Now we have to wait a little bit to let it dry. I did not erase this line. So I am going to do it a little bit dark over here. This is really dark one, what I used over here. First I will make this color really watery.
think I want a little bit red but this is red so I'm, I have to be careful so I'm not going to color right now marker for the beak that will be more better if this drawing is dry if it's not dry it will bleed inside see some of the spots are really hard edges like over here here this this and you can see the sky blue part is not here so what I'm going to do I will clean my brush nothing is in my brush only water and I'm going to make them soft 